Okay, let's get started. So today we're making a classic cookie. We're making peanut butter cookies with a Hershey Kiss on top. But a little spin is I'm gonna be using the Reese's Cups and the Minnie's Reese's Cups instead. We'll also do some ones with the Hershey Kisses, but we're gonna do both. And the reason I need to make these today is because um, I'm going back home and last time I was home, I ate the last cookie without knowing it. Um, that were my best friend's cookies and I had no idea, so I still feel awful. So she has no idea I'm making these for her today. Um, but I'm gonna go home with hopefully a couple dozen of her favorite cookies and hopefully that'll make up for me eating the last of the cookies last time. Um, but I'm gonna get started and I don't have a recipe from a cookbook, I just looked it up online, which means it, the recipe's on my phone. So we're gonna see if I can remember how to do this without looking at a recipe. So wish me luck. But the first thing we're gonna do is add all of the wet ingredients together. So that is because I'm doubling the recipe just because I wanna make sure I have enough. Um, it's a whole cup of butter, two eggs, and then a lot of sugar. I honestly, I think it's a cup of brown sugar and a cup of white sugar. So all in the bowl. And then also a whole cup of peanut butter, which I've never baked with peanut butter before. So I'm super curious to see what the dough consistency is like. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be hard to roll them out and we're just gonna have to see how it goes. But I'm gonna mix this all together. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but it is so fluffy and aerated. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Um, but I put it on medium and I let it kind of beat for a few minutes. Um, I wonder if these cookies come out super fluffy, but okay. So now combine the baking soda, baking powder, and flour into the mixture. And I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time until it's all combined. So it's all combined. That was really easy. Um, and I tasted the batter. It literally tastes like the peanut butter cookies from the Girl Scouts. Oh my God, it's delicious. So now I believe I just roll them out into one inch balls, coat them in a little bit of sugar, and then I'll place them on the tray. So I'm gonna prep my trays now. I have no idea what size to make them. Can you see? It's pretty small, it's about an inch. And then I'm gonna roll it in sugar, just the granulated sugar. And then when they come out of the oven, that's when you add the Hershey Kiss and the Reese's Cups. Up until five minutes ago, I thought you needed to put them on first and then bake them, but wow, aren't I glad I didn't do it in that order. Um, okay, so I'm gonna finish rolling these out and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I just rolled out um, two full cookie sheets, and so I was just thinking, do I put the fork marks in them, um, make it a little like a hatch design? Um, and I don't think so. I like when they're like nice and small and, um, and they don't have the indents in them, but okay, so I'm going to stick these in the oven for eight minutes. They say eight to ten, but we're going to track them at eight, and then... Um, while they're in the oven, I'm gonna finish rolling out the rest because I have a ton of batter left. So in the oven they go. Okay, so the timer just went off. Uh, so that was eight minutes. I'm gonna check on them. First I'm gonna put this. Okay, now I'm gonna check on them. Oh, they look so fluffy. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I am so glad I didn't make them any bigger than that. They're huge. Okay. Okay, so eight minutes is definitely plenty of time. And you can, can you see the bottoms are a little um, golden? Uh, okay. Wow. Those are huge. I made the cookies so small. Oh, <laughs> all righty. <sighs> so now we're going to be adding the, the goodies. We have a variety. So we have the Reese's Cup. We have 
the Hershey's Kiss. And we have the Minnie's Reese's Cup. So, we're gonna try them off. In they go. Oh wow, these are definitely over cups. All right, um. Hmm. Yeah, no, they're definitely over cups. Okay, well, so I added all the toppings. Um, they look overcooked. I, I, I don't know how that could happen. So I don't know what I should do for the next batch. I don't know if I should make the, the cookie dough balls bigger. I don't know if I should leave them in for shorter. I don't know, they look dry. So I mean, maybe they don't look overcooked, but they look dry. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the other dough balls in the oven, and then I'm gonna try for seven minutes. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. So I guess let's do that. Okay. Okay. In the oven, the second batch go. These ones are slightly bigger and I'm going to stick them in there for seven minutes. Okay, so the second timer just went off and so I must say I was peeking through the glass and I think that the way to do it is to make them bigger, like the way these ones are. So these are bigger, wow, um, and they look undercooked now. So I mean, will I ever find the happy medium? I don't know. I'm going to leave them undercooked and we're just going to have to go. I get to bring home and share. So I'm very excited and I think I'm actually going to try one. I can't wait any longer. So I'm going to try one of these little ones. Oh, maybe it's not overcooked. Let's see. Look at the delicious gooeyness. Mmm. Oh my god. Highly recommend this recipe. Highly recommend the mini um, Reese's Cups. So let me know if you guys try this out, um, and I can't wait to see you next time.